What is going on guys? Good morning. January 4th, we're keeping with the mini vlog. So like I told you guys today, Tony's gonna come down. We're gonna work on the old uh, Honda. Um, gotta put the new bearings on the steering stem. We're gonna change out the rear tire. Um, and if you're thinking DO, why are you changing out a rear tire on a bike you're not even gonna ride anymore? Well, this tire is hammered and I'm gonna be selling this bike to a friend. If I was just trading it into the dealership, yeah, um, I would leave the hammer tire on it, but I don't want to do that to a friend. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put a fresh new uh, Michelin Starcross 6 on it that I bought a few weeks back, but get that handled. But my garage, as you can see, we got the stuff from the bathroom rem remodel. We got four bicycles, three over there, four here. Um, yeah, um, the new remodel stuff, it is a mess. So I'm going to go ahead, back my truck out of the garage and uh, make some space so that we can actually move around a little bit and uh, get this knocked out today. Let's get after it, have a good day. Well, it's not fantastic, but we at least made room so we can work around the bike. But we're gonna head down to um, the home office and get cracking on some actual work until Tony gets here. So we'll catch up with you guys then. Pull off the rear wheel so that we can change the tire a little bit easier. And um, I haven't even talked about it. I know you guys have seen, but the elephant in the room. Yeah, I painted my nails. I just wanted to try it. Yes, 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 you can comment from motocross. It helps arm pump. Uh, you're all very funny and very original, but uh, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to try. Why does anyone do anything? Why do girls paint their nails? Why do guys put gel in their hair? Um, you just want to do something. I don't know. I just wanted to try it. I think it's fun. It's a little goofy, a little out there, but it's not like I'm the first person in the world to do it. So uh, anyway, yeah, just address that because I know uh, I've got comments about it. I've had people DM me about it. And yeah, I painted my nails black. That's what it is. All right, we got one minute to spare. We have an 11 o'clock meeting, so uh, let's get down there. Psyched, meeting got moved. <laughs> Came down here, it's 11 o'clock, and it's uh, not on my calendar. Oh. All right, we got the linkage. We got Tony here. We haven't seen Tony in a while. It's been a while. Actually, I'm going to make you talk. So, oh, God. Um, at Leadville, yes. you hurt yourself. Yep. Um, what, what was the... What happened? I mean, um, basically, I like kind of like slid out in one of the corners, or I blew out the rut, and it kind of went out to one side, and then it locked and slid back the other way. And I was leaned over, and the rear end was kicked, and I went up over one of the berms and landed directly on my leg, and my leg got pinched underneath, like the tires barely hit. So my leg got pinched underneath the foot peg um, and the bike, and that broke the bottom bone by my ankle and then my body twisted and that pulled the ligament so tight that it broke the top bone. Um, and so then, yeah, so a couple weeks until surgery um, and then had the, uh, let's see, what was it? A plate, two or two screws, a pin and a band put in to hold That's everything crazy. together. And that was uh, our trip up to Leadville. Yep. Um, so obviously you're good now, you're walking yeah, around. we're walking, starting PT finally. They were so backed up, I didn't get to start PT for over a month after I <laughs> actually got the surgery done. Um, but yeah, back to PT and, Thinking probably spring I'll be able to get back on the bike, but yeah. Cool. Damn so it. I'll, I'll have some time um, on the Yamaha once I get it, and then we'll have Tony back out there. Yes, sir. And uh, yeah, so anyway, Tony has the Motion Pro um, steering stem or whatever, whatever it's called. It's I don't know. Tool. And uh, <laughs> I just think that everyone needs a friend like Tony because he drove down from his house just to help me out. So really appreciate you, Tony. Yeah. And uh, let's get this bad boy back on the road or <laughs> off the road, I guess. Yeah. I like to be educated. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that in the rain's is bliss Take me back to before I knew Tony just finished up the tire Fought him a little bit just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because <laughs> it's, it it's a little cold out here. We did have the tire inside, but yeah, it fought him a bit. While Tony was doing that, I put the linkage all back on because uh, Tony had done the, the bearings in there. So got that handled. I think that's you. Yeah. <laughs> got that handled. We got them all torqued up. And uh, yeah, so now we still have to finish up the um, 
steering stem bearings, but uh, at least we're getting things moving, coming together. Tony had to make a quick run, which actually worked out perfectly because I have a work meeting. So I had to come down to the office, hop on this, and then uh, Tony will be back and we'll finish up the bike. But I'm kind of hitting like a midday slump, so I'm going to be taking my Ketone IQ. If you guys have seen me post about it on Instagram, Alex Martin uh, is now affiliated with them, so he's been talking about it. Um, you know, obviously troll training, he's way more well-versed than me, but uh, definitely helps with like your focus, energy, appetite suppressant even, which is nice. And uh, yeah, helps with those midday slumps. So I usually take a shot in the morning but I didn't today and I'm actually definitely feeling it so I'm gonna take my shot and if you guys are interested um, or whatever sales pitch I know a lot of you guys are younger um, so maybe like your dad could be interested in this because I'm sitting at 32 and I need this to get through my day but check them out um, HVMN I'll have a link it'll probably be on the screen and then if you use coupon code DIO it'll save you um, I think 20%? Yeah, 20%. And then I get a commission off of it. So um, you help yourself out and then you also help me out some. So if you're interested, check it out. If not, all gravy, baby. But we're going to take this and we're going to drink our Red Bull because this isn't a replacement. You do them together, just a, a stack, stack it on top of it. But uh, let's go. They don't taste great. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but. Uh, you get used to it after a while, but cheers. Let's get on this work meeting. Knock it out. Awesome. So kicking off Instagram. Oh, we're muted. You're muted. You're muted. Man, that's embarrassing. I don't usually do that. Um, kicking off Instagram. Summer, I turned pretty with the 15% ER, which is... We're going pretty smooth. Yeah, you know, when we actually have the right tools, this goes a lot easier. <laughs> that's what's up, man. There we go. Hey, what are you helping with with that? Good job. Can you work on the bike? Can you show me where on the bike that goes? Let's go. Can you can you work on this with that? Exactly. Good this job. <laughs> And the bike is done. So Tony, what all did you do on it? Uh, so we did linkage bearings, steering stem bearings, um, re-greased a bunch of stuff, set up a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, really not like too in depth, but it took us a little bit longer than we expected, but it's all done now. <laughs> He's trying to put the tool in there, but heck yeah, man, well again, thank you so much of for the course, help, buddy. appreciate you. Yeah. What do you think, Ez? All right. <laughs> All right, guys, so Ezra got into the pine cones here. Tony took off. All we needed to do to finish up the bike is just uh, torque the pinch bolts, um, and then I'm going to do an oil change on it since I did ride on it, and um, I didn't do an oil change before that. So just get some fresh oil in it, and uh, that's going to button up the Honda, which is crazy. Um, my buddy Cody Thompson, he just got the first uh, 23YZ um, that came to the other dealership in Colorado Springs, so he just got his today. So that gives me hope that mine will be here next week, in two weeks, something like that. So it should be very, very soon. But um, that's gonna close it out for this little mini vlog. I need to get back downstairs, button up some stuff at work, just kind of finish out the day um, because I was out in the garage for a bit longer than I meant to be, but we got everything handled. So appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this mini vlog, especially since it was a uh, dirt bike related, which we kind of been straying away from lately. But um, yeah, guys, I guess uh, hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow. But until next time, as always, take it easy. It's easy. Take it twice. I'll talk to you later.